Nibiru media blackout. Shock claims over mainstream media planet X cover up. The mainstream media is involved in a global conspiracy to cover up the existence of mythical planet Nibiru, it has shockingly been claimed. Nibiru conspiracy theorists claim mainstream newspapers and websites across the globe, at the request of governments, have collectively agreed not to reveal to the world that they know a mythical planetary system is making its way towards Earth. According to some Nibiru believers, every newspaper editor across the globe has agreed not to break the story amid fear over the high level of mass panic it would cause. The Nibiru myth emerged in 1976, when writers Zechariah Sitchin claimed two ancient Middle Eastern cultures, the Babylonians and Sumerians, told of a giant planet dubbed Nibiru which orbited the Sun. And the Nibiru or Planet X theory claims a mini solar system consisting of a sun, planets, and moons is lurking on the edge of our system with a huge 3,600 miles orbit of the sun. Nibiru believers are convinced the rogue system is making its way from the outer solar system inwards, where it will wreak havoc on Earth as it passes at about 4 million miles away. They say the planet will cause the poles to switch sparking great earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. After nothing happened in October, when it was originally supposed to hit, believers now claim it will be on an approach path with the Earth between November 20th and December 20th. One of the biggest pushes of the Nibiru media blackout theory is UK-based conspiracy theorist Matt Rogers, who runs the YouTube channel Sky Watcher Matt Rogers. He releases daily videos, with claims he has evidence of Nibiru in the sky, in which he lambasts the media for keeping shtum. Mr. Rogers said, We can all see from the skies, that the skies are changing, that there is a problem, but still the media says nothing, because the governments and the shadow government don't want them to. In this video, I'm going to show how the powers that be control the media, because they do it every day. They tell us everything is fine, but you can see the chemtrails up there. They have been getting away with the propaganda for many, many years. We listen to those TV stations, we read the newspapers, we listen to the radio, and we look at the internet, but they are all controlled by the powers that be, the shadow government. They play us all the time as puppeteers, we need and demand the truth we want true news. But despite claims of a cover-up, scores of mainstream media outlets have reported on Nibiru conspiracy theories since August when there were claims from believers including Mr. Rogers that Nibiru was about to pass Earth. Now, I just want to say that if you keep sending this information out on your web page, well I'm just going to file a complaint, because we can see that there is a serious problem in us guys. Why don't you expose the government about the chemtrails? At the end of the day you are all paid by government, news media, is run by governments. And, I will file a complaint, because you are just trying to cause a bit of friction to say this isn't true, but what we can see, and many thousands of people noticing, the skies have changed. You just put this info out in your paper, and it's just a waste of time. Because many of the members of the public around the world are seeing the truth, they're seeing there is a problem. NASA denies the existence of Nibiru. The US Space Agency's official line is that conspiracy theorists such as Mr. Rogers are completely wrong, and the Nibiru myth is an internet hoax. Dr. David Morrison, a scientist with the Space Agency, said, There is no credible evidence whatever for the existence of Nibiru. There are no pictures, no tracking, no astronomical observations. I can quite specifically say how we know planet X or Nibiru does not exist and does not threaten Earth. Firstly, if there was a planet headed into the inner solar system that was going to come close to the Earth, it would already be inside the orbit of Mars, it would be bright, it would be easily visible to the naked eye, if it was up there it would be easy to see it, all of us could see it. Space boffin Dr. Brian Cox has also insisted Planet X does not exist. And associate professor John T. Horner, an astronomer at the University of Southern Queensland in Australia, 
said, I've never heard of anybody who's an actual astronomer talk about Nibiru before. It's basically an urban myth. It's like having a biologist coming out and talking about werewolves and the Sasquatch being real. You just wouldn't hear it.